Hey guys, I'm just up at my family camp with the Wooded Beardsman at Adam Craig Outdoors. I'm the one wild crafter on YouTube and I just wanted to show you a few things that I learned during the Wilderness Living Challenge Season 2 uh, where we in Season 2 made the most of all the animals and fish that we caught. So for starters, uh, in Season 1 we were filleting all of our fish and this year we scaled, kept the heads on and ate everything. So just have my scaling board set up here and I'm going to scale this uh, rock bass that we caught this morning and this pickle that we caught this morning and I've already got four other pickle from last night and we're going to do them up in a baking pan. Got a really fancy scaling tool here. So this fancy scaling tool idea um, was a suggestion by the Wooded Beardsman when he was in the Dominican Republic. Um, that's what uh, his fishing guide there used to scale their fish, it was just a fork. I haven't used scaling tools before, this, I'm kind of new to scaling fish, but I'm, I've become a fan of it. So there's so much more fat and nutrition in the skin that you lose out on if you just kind of fillet them and, and skin them off. Um, so the fork seems to be working great. So I'm going to take off these bottom fins here. Going to remove the gills by going under the gill plate uh, at the front and removing it at the chest and then I'm going to pull it back on a small fish you can just tear it out. Now the gills plates are attached to the esophagus so I'm now going to cut the cavity open and remove all of the insides. So here I've got two egg sacs I'm going to set that aside and a stomach. I think this rock bass has been eating more than any of these pickerel have been eating. Crayfish. I think he's got one whole crayfish in there at least. I'm not going to eat that crayfish, I'll just put it aside. So the stomach with the egg sacs. What else is in here? Tiny little heart. The guts. So if we squeeze those guts out. There's all the gut contents came out. Guts, the rest of the stomach accessory organs. There's a little gallbladder. I'm going to take that out just with my fingernail. So that gallbladder is going to go in the waste pile with the gills the fins. So I'm going to cook that <coughs> and I'm going to bake this whole fish. Eat the eyes, the brain, the skin and all the meat of course. 
All right, so that rock bass is done. I'm going to move on to the pickerel. Uh, I'm going to do the same process to expose all the parts that I want to eat in the skin. And then uh, I'm going to show cutting it open and adding some spice in the to bake it. So uh, the other reason I'm trying to make the most of these fish is that I have been carrying on with the Wilderness Living Challenge. I've, I've transitioned into eating a hunter-gatherer diet. So with all the wild foods that I've got in my freezer and harvestable right now, I'm going to try and eat uh, just a hunter-gatherer diet and track um, how that goes over the next few weeks. Stay tuned. Even though all the guts are gone, that heart, which is, I didn't even realize it was still attached to the fish and it's still beating, still working away. Know what you're doing? Tell me what you did. I your, squeezed out. Your dad gave you what? An eyeball, a fish eyeball. Yeah. And I squeezed out the ball to make it into a mobile. Let me see. Huh. Is it like a little glass bead? Yeah. And then you leave it overnight and you can color it with food coloring or something. And it doesn't grow bigger overnight, but some but other fish eyeballs are bigger and you can get Big ones and small ones. So what do you do with it? You make a jewelry or you can make yeah, you can make um, jewelry, you can make it just into like a little ball. Or you can just leave it clear like this. What do you like to do with them? I'll probably try to maybe color it. I've never tried that before, so cool. I might try that. That's really and I might just leave it like this and I might just leave one like this and the other food colored but I'll see it. That's interesting you know what because I've never seen that before so you taught me something new. Yay! That's a neat little ball. So we'll removing these fins again and then all the all the good treats on the inside to keep so that I just throw in my waste pile. So this is the gut system here. This pickerel's empty, but look at all these beautiful flat fat fat globules all along the organs. So we're going to keep that. I think we need to get eyeball. Here comes an eye. Are you going to make another one? Thank you. And you can make You're welcome. Ooh, that's oh, that's a very really big and globby. Can you make one for Holden? Sure. Alright, cool. Thanks. I roasted swim bladders last night for the first time and they were so good that I am definitely not going to pass up on this swim bladder so that's going to go into the roasting pan as well so we're just going to score the fish so we can rub some delicious adobo spice in there and also just have it bake a little quicker to the middle of the meat there we go so here 
Here's what we're keeping. Throw a little bit of spice on here. By a little bit, I mean a lot. So that's my keep pile. And then if we scan over here, that's, that's it. That's my discard pile from those two fish. There it is, ready for the oven. Look at Jeremy's plate, isn't that look fantastically paleo? <laughs> <laughs> You're eating the rock bass. The rock bass and half of a pickerel and then probably I'll eat a little more after that too. Right, so, so it's gonna be the taste test. There. Which one's that, the pickerel walleye? Yep. Pickerel if you're in the north. So it's walleye. been scaled, so I'm eating the skin and... It's really good. Good? Yeah, the adobo spices. Fantastic. Yeah. Wow. If anybody wants the recipe, go to Woodbeard's channel. The bearded woodsman. The wooded beardsman. <laughs> Whatever. Take, retake, beep. I'm sure people will find it. Yep. There you go. Done deal. You're going to eat the whole brain and everything. And you got to dig the yep. uh, organs out of the middle. Yep. Maybe we'll have to show that too. Sure. I'll fish them out. <laughs> Adam's here. No pun yep. intended. Fish is good. Fresh. Caught yesterday. And this morning. And this morning, yeah. Oh, the organs, you can mm -hmm. do that? Oh, gross. <laughs> you gotta pop that in there. And then... Is that? More. It's more? More of the insides. Yeah, you got random bits down in the bottom. Another little inside. You threw a little there's bit of butter in there, or no? No. We didn't, eh? So, no. no, there's no butter in this. So it's super moist. Wow, that's all the that's all broth. That's all fish broth, and that's not even yeah, butter we broth. Didn't, there's nothing but fish in there in the spice. Wow. So we'll have an intestine. Let me know. St intestine, stomach, stomach, and intestine. You didn't take it out. I think one of them I cut loose from a the air bladder. Is that what that is? All shriveled up, maybe. Maybe it's all gristly, right? Yeah, it's like a little piece of pork rind. So that's where the fat hides. <clears throat> Liver. Mm. A scale. The liver is really livery. <laughs> all the all the long guts. Oh. All good. Really rich. Take two. 